Hello everyone, Luxans here, your coach of the Lily Cove Lopanicos, and today I am here for my GEU Week 1 uh, battle, of course. So, I'm here today. Uh, we are facing odds, is what I meant to say. And his Memphis Bewares, and he has a draft, or well, he had a draft of, please tell me that it hasn't changed yet on the docks. That would suck ass. Uh, quite a few people dropped from GU for all, for various different reasons, basically. Uh, eh. I hope that the team hasn't changed. This feels very similar to what I, what I play to what I prepped for. Is there like any where where I can see the transactions? that were made FAs and trades it says none were made let me quickly check like the discord chat I, I I have my team open in discord because pokey pastes you know um oh well I'm gonna say what the draft is now so uh, uh he has a draft consisting of Eveltal Deoxys Speed okay so that's still correct Meg Kangaskhan Zero Aura that's so correct. I knew. I know. I remember. I have to build for Komoo, so that's correct. Celebi, I'm not sure. Aromatis, I know. I built for that, and it was brought. Heatran, it's obviously there. Vaporeon, I know. I prepped for that. I'm pretty sure I prepped for Lycanroc and Steelix. And could it was probably there. So we actually brought a squad. Of Nia Teppelin, our IQ. Um, we uh, are a sub call mindset with Thunderbolt, Hidden Power, Fire, and Leftovers. Then we have Fumino, our Primarina, which is just straight up specs modest, with Hydro Pump, Moonblast, Ice Beam, and Energy Ball. He has no switch ins to this. Then we have Jibiril, our Lunala, which is Expert Bell, Moon Guys, Beam, Side Shock, Thunderbolt, and Roost. We have Cruel Tepes. Which is Flyinium Z, uh, which is our Salamence, by the way. And Jibiru is our Lunala, if I didn't say that already. Uh, Krilltep is our Salamence, Flyinium Z with Moxie. Uh, rocking a Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Fly, and Dragon Dance. Basically, I have to get rid of the Lycan Rock for this to sweep. Now I have to get rid of the Aromatis. Seems fair enough. Now we have Ravel Phanix, our Skarmory. Leftovers, Impish Nature, I don't know why I said that one. I don't know why I said Nature for that one. Like, eh. uh, Iron Head, Stealth Rock, Spikes, and Roost. And then we have Shinoa, our Lorantis with Leftovers. Contrary has the ability with Lee Storm, Hidden Power, Ground, Senses, and Defog. Now, I will say, as you can see from the time that I played this, or, well, the time that this battle was registered, it was quite a while ago. So... I don't remember every detail, but I'm pretty sure I just let Primarina here, because, you know, look at his team. Where's the Hydro Pump switch in? I don't know. So, we're going to see. I, this, this is taking me too long. There we go. Hello, Odds. Hi. Um, he does lead off with his Heatran, which I'm pretty... Yep, I did leave with my Primarina, because, hey... Clicking Specs Hydro Pump is fun. He withdraws the Heatran and goes straight into his Deoxys, which is alright. Like, as long as I just connect this Hydro Pump, I should be fine, right? Ah, and I missed turn one. <sighs> he gets rocks up, which is a bit unfortunate. But right here, I can just click Hydro Pump and just claim one. Except for the fact that Deoxys, of course focus sash because it's a deoxy speed what other item would it run it's not offensive it's not gonna run that um i basically just got out into shinoa i felt like he would be setting up spikes here like a layer of spikes but he actually just raw psycho boosted i was like oh shit I, I, that's a play too so uh raw psycho boost came out I say, like, okay, yeah, let's not have that. And we just went out to, into Ravel Fanix. <laughs> uh, 
as a psycho boost. What new shit at minus two? So he's now at minus four. We have our scummery out, and I'm pretty sure I decide to click stealth rock, predicting him to switch out, or right click spikes, or what, whichever of the two. He does decide to taunt here first, though, which is a bit unfortunate, but eh. It, it's not really a big deal. It's, it's not like he can do damage to me. So, he does switch out here. I'm pretty sure into he trying yeah. As I am pretty sure I just go out into my... I just go raw into my Lunala, okay. Uh... I don't remember that, but I do remember clicking Thunderbolt on his Heatran because I was predicting the Eveltal to come out. As a Moon Guys Beam from my Lunala would hurt on this Heatran. So I just go for Thunderbolt again. We actually get the Paralysis, which is very nice for me. And he does land a Fire Blast, which is a bit unfortunate for him. It's a bit of damage. It doesn't do too much though, so I can freely roost here, which is very nice for me. As this wasn't even like with Shadow Shield up. So he does get paralyzed here. A bit unfortunate for odds here. But we just click Moon Guys Beam and claim our KO. And just look at this animation. It looks so gorgeous. Bonk. Heatran. Almost dead, but he get para he gets paralyzed again, which is unfortunate. So I just I do just go for Thunderbolt here, not wanting to risk him going into a Veltal. We got a crit for a good measure, of course. Uh, we definitely needed that. We wouldn't have killed it otherwise, let's just say that. He does go out into Zavelto here, though. Which, I'm definitely staying in a... Okay, I'll joke aside, I'm switching out here. Pretty sure I go to Primarina. Yeah. And I just click Moonblast here. If I recall correctly. He just goes for the U-turn. Possibly... I'm pretty sure he just goes into... The Zara Aura, which it's not too good for me, as you know, to Zara Aura versus a Primarina. So I just switch out here into Shinoa sacking her off, as she kind of took a very hard blow with the Psycho Boost. So it's unfortunate, but Shinoa was my check was one of my checks to Zara Aura anyway, so doesn't really matter. Um, right here, I can just go out into my Raikou, however, as I'm quite bulky, and Plasma Fist won't do too much. He would have to click Close Combat f to actually deal damage to me, or click, like, Knock Off. But we can just get behind a sub here real quick, and start setting up Calm Minds. Except for the fact that he, of course, will not allow that by clicking Taunt. So... I'm pretty sure I just decided to click Thunderbolt here, knowing that he would click Taunt. No, I'm retarded, I just... okay. And to be fair, we got an extra turn of leftovers, so... Mm. He goes for the spikes here. And I just go for the Thunderbolt, killing the Deoxys, not wanting to, you know risk anything here. Jesus Christ, I'm very tired, okay. We do get a nice bit of leftovers back, of course, and he goes out into his Kangaskhan right here, which is, of course, a Mega Kangaskhan. So, with the bulk that we have, we can actually live, uh, our sub can actually live a power punch from the Mega Kangaskhan. It's actually quite nice, as I can just Click Thunderbolt here as we're still taunted. And it is a nice 3 hit KO for us. And of course, we do outspeed since we are a Raikou. So, he does get the attack boost here. And the baby gets his attack off as well, but it doesn't do enough to break my sub, which is very nice for me. As I can now just click Thunderbolt another time and just kind of stomp on this Kangaskhan. Do a nice bit of damage. He goes for the Fire Blast, actually, which... Okay. 
confuse me a bit. He might have thought like Skarmory was coming out. I wouldn't see why necessarily. Like a baby, a baby Kangaskhan's earthquake wouldn't, you know, have killed me. So mm. I just go for the sub here, seeing what he'd want to do, and he actually opts to go for the power up punch, which with the crit is of course going to break myself. I don't know if that crit mattered because I do have quite a bit of investment. That was mainly to scout for a Sucker Punch, however, but seeing him not wanting to click a uh, Sucker Punch at that turn made me believe that he would not be Sucker Punch here. So I just go for the Thunderbolt and kill the Kangaskhan. Now, we're looking quite good. I'm pretty sure we are 5-3 to three right now. And he goes into his Eveltal. Which to me, this screams that he is scarfed. So, he goes for Dark Pulse and I do just end up going for the Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure, just to get some chip off. And that was actually modest Eveltal damage, if I recall correctly. So, we have a modest Scarf Eveltal in front of us, clicking Dark Pulse. And I decide, okay, I have a very nice switch into that which is my Primarina. I do forget about the rocks and spikes but it doesn't matter too much as we will not die to that at this point. I just decided to click Moon Blast here however as that will do a hell of a lot to whatever wants to come out. Click the Moon Blast, deal a lot to the Zera. I'm pretty sure I just sack off my Raikou here as it was quite expendable at this point in time. Not even being able to switch in, of course. This allows me to, uh, you know, uh, this allows me to force the Zera into a move, because at this point I thought this Zera would be choice locked, which I'm pretty sure he was. He does end up going for the Volt Switch. I think he was like banded. This crit sucked by the way, because I think I would have been at Shadow Shield range had it not been for that crit. So he does opt to go out into the Aromatis as I click Thunderbolt here, not wanting to risk him potentially going out into the Eveltal. I do rest up here as this Aromatis actually sets up a Trick Room, which is very interesting to me. Trick Room Aromatis with a Scarf of Veltal and these Zero Ori in the back still. So, he goes for the Moon Blast here, which is going to do quite a bit of damage to be fair. But the Life Orb is going to will him down, and my Moon Guy's Beam is going to do a shitload of damage to him. Now, at this point, I just need to not get crit by this Moon Blast, and I'm pretty set with winning with. Uh, my Jibril, as it underspeeds the Zero Aura and the Veltal, which means it of course outspeeds it, outspeeds both of them in Trick Room. I go for the Roost here, not wanting to risk uh, him potentially doing anything else than what I want him to do. Goes out into Zero Aura. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I just click the Moon Guy's Beam here, and my phone. Uh -oh. My phone just like vibrated very loudly. I did not expect that. Kind of startled me. So we do just click Moon Guy's, ble Moon Guy's Beam here on the Zera Aura to kill. And now the Eveltal comes out and we are in the Trick Room so we will outspeed and kill with the Thunderbolt. Making it a 4-0 victory for us. GG to my man Odds here. Trick Room Aromatis. Flames. Um... Fire Blast Kangaskhan, Flames. Like, I get, I get the play as well, because if I was like Rocky Helmet Skarmory, a Fire Punch Kangaskhan, even with the Power Punch, would just suck ass. But Fire Blast Kangaskhan makes a lot of sense because of that. Scarf Velt all bit standard, of course. Like, most of the sets were just very, you know, normal against my team. Scarf Velt all has a good matchup. Banded Zero Aura is what I assume it to be. Has a good matchup. Heatran has a pretty decent matchup. I'd say 
it's already going to be one of the worst matchups that what is Moz have against my team. But I do understand it because I do have like three fairies. And I of course have my grass and my steel which I did um, in the bringing. Either way, GG to odds. And next week we actually fight SV Tornado who replaced someone who replaced someone else. And it's a whole bunch of replacement training because G is in a bit of a... <laughs> I wouldn't say like a struggle right now it's more so it's a kind of figuring out what it wants to do but i'll see you guys next week peace out